Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Once to Watch Team 2 is coming. Premier League Player of the Month is coming. The market is dropping just as we said that it would. And there's a lot of stuff to talk about right now on this game with the market and with stuff happening inside of FIFA 22 Ultimate Team. We have Rivals Rewards here in a couple hours after I'm recording and posting this video. So we'll talk about that and how I think the market will react today to those Rivals Rewards. And with the state of the market right now, how some cards might be a little bit too cheap and you might have an investing opportunity on some ones to watch items from Team 1. But... Speaking of ones to watch, let's focus on what's coming tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is ones to watch team two. We're probably going to get some more information around that team and players in that team today on Thursday. Yesterday on the EA Sports Instagram, Fabrizio Romano um, showed three more players that are going to be involved in the next set of ones to watch cards. Danny Ings, Cucurella, and Junior Furpo. And the comment that I made on this tweet was, Every time that Fabrizio has been releasing these ratings, he did it last week for Team 1 too, if you were not aware, they gave him all the bad cards to release. They didn't let him release like the uh, Upamecano, they didn't let him release the Varane, they're, they're giving him the low tier cards, which I kind of find of interesting. But in this video, he said that he's going to be releasing more of them today on Thursday. So watch out for Fabrizio's Instagram and also the EA Sports FUT and EA Sports FIFA Instagram story pages because he will be posting some of those there. But with these three players additionally confirmed, that now means that out of all the ones to watch players that we have confirmed that we're not in Team 1, of course we have the 14 players as a part of Team 1 and the mini release that came out on Sunday. Team two of ones to watch, there's already nine players that we know are going to be included in team two. Nine out of the 14 players that will be released in this next week, right? Messi, Lukaku, Ramos, uh, Wijnaldum is not in packs yet, but is confirmed. Ings, Cucurella, Daniel Malin, this Paulinho card, the striker from um, uh, Sporting, Konate, and Junior Furball. That is nine cards. So there are only five technically surprise cards that will be uh, surprises to us when they get released tomorrow on Friday. And then today, Fabrizio might even post a few more. So we might only have a couple surprises heading into Friday. They actually might release the team early like they did last week. So watch out for today on all of EA Sports socials. They might be tweeting out once to watch team too early since they've released so much of it already. So keep an eye out for market movements related to that like we saw last week uh, for cards that we didn't expect to get in, like maybe a Depay, maybe a Sancho, you know, some of those cards, maybe an Aguero, maybe a Sabitzer. Their gold cards might shoot up in price if they are confirmed to be in. So just and we're, when we're thinking about wants to watch team two, that is a big, big thing today. We probably will get some more information on that. Maybe the whole team, maybe just a couple more players um, as we head into tomorrow on Friday. So we'll see what kind of information comes from that. But also there's a lot going on in this game right now with this market. As we talked about yesterday, we were expecting and I was expecting a big sell-off happening after the content drop on Wednesday. And that is exactly what happened. I think people just get these ideas that on Wednesdays, they need to sell cards ahead of rewards. Marcus Rashford is down like 10,000 coins. A lot of these, again, the mid-tier meta and even the high-tier meta gold cards, if we take a look, at the market index from yesterday and where the market dropped, I mean, it was literally a spitting image of what we saw a week ago. Last Wednesday, heading into rewards on Thursday, the market went from 83 points on the index right around 6 p.m. UK on Wednesday. We are now down at 71.42 points. Now, what's that mean for today? Now, of course, people are selling off most likely because of rewards, and a few people are probably selling because of what they expect to be a lot of supply coming tomorrow with Wants to Watch Team 2 and promo packs. But I think a lot of the sell off is again because of the Rivals rewards that are coming out today. Now, Rivals rewards aren't that insane, but yes, it will put some coins on the market and it will supply some cards on this game. I do think there is going to be a slight uptick on, again, the high tier, the meta. Cards that drop today that are high tier that don't get packed very much. Guys like De Bruyne, um, maybe guys like uh, the Rashford a little bit, Pogba a little bit. Conte didn't even really drop much. Goretzka, 159K, that is down, right? Ferland Mendy, 117, that's down a bit. Sancho's 18,000 coins, right? 
Um, Mane's down at 244K. De Young is down at 90,000 coins. So a lot of these um, higher tier, more overpowered cards, um, you, see, you saw their prices drop today. Prices dropped today on the whole entire market. But I think that high tier that most meta cards are gonna be the ones that rise up a little bit today. I wouldn't even really mess with gold cards, right? We still are kind of learning how this new rival structure, how with only rivals rewards on Thursday and not foot champions rewards is gonna impact the market. We're still curious to see how that is gonna go. Last week, what we saw is the team of the week had a really nice spike. Now this team of the week isn't as supplied as the last week's, right? So I'm really curious to see since there's not team of the week packs that are going to be released today on Thursday, is the team of the week just going to shoot straight up as people try Foden, Jonathan David, the new Hyunmin Sun card, maybe the Tonali item. So I think that a couple of the team of the week cards might rise up today after rewards. But probably what you're going to see is a rise after rewards. You'll probably see this graph on the index 100 rise back up for a few hours, three to four to five hours into 6 p.m. UK. And then you're going to have marquee matchup supply and you're going to have packs that are going to be opened and more hype around wants to watch team two coming tomorrow, which is probably going to make that graph maybe kind of go up and then maybe trickle back down a little bit in price as people start to get prepared for probably a lot more supply and probably a lot more prices that drop because of promo packs and packs opened tomorrow on Friday with ones to watch team too. So that's kind of how I see it today, right? Probably a nice dip up after that. And then maybe a little bit of a downturn after 6 p.m. UK on most of the market. Now, let's talk about a couple areas of the market. We mentioned the team of the week cards that might rise up a little bit and then be able to be bought before rewards and sold after. I think if you're making any flips today, you're buying before rewards or right during, depending on if it's a card impacts or not and then you're selling a couple hours after. That's if you're trying to flip. If you're trying to buy a card for your team for a more of a longer term hold, if it's if it's one of these gold items, I'm waiting. If it's a gold item or even a team of the week card that's a buy for your team that you're wanting to hold for at least a couple weeks or so, or you're building a squad, I would wait until Friday because again, we cannot underestimate the pack supply for just any cards that are on this game. We saw how much these cards got absolutely destroyed on price in the first two hours of last Friday with all the promo packs that were opened. There's gonna be a similar element to that this Friday. So any gold cards or cards that are in packs this Friday that you wanna buy for your team, right? A longer term hold, I would not buy those at rewards today. I would just buy cards that you want to get a quick flip and try to make a quick profit on. Now, for a longer term hold cards that I would buy today, I'm looking at some of these ones to watch cards from team one. These guys absolutely dropped into the gutter today with this sell-off, with this panic. Take a look at Griezmann. Ones to watch Griezmann was 150,000 coins yesterday. This guy is now 118K right before rewards. I don't think these guys are gonna get supplied too much at rewards. If you want to buy a ones to watch player, I mean, some of these guys that I look at as good buys right now, Malin, 17,000 coins for a striker that gets, he's been scoring a decent amount of goals lately. Holland has been injured. And yesterday he dropped off from 22,000 coins all the way down to 18K. I just think that with one inform and with just the hype of these items being live, I know that it's a national break right now. It's an international break. So cards are not, you know, looking the best for or easy to track with, you know, potential upgrades and informs. Hakimi actually, Morocco played yesterday and they won 5-0. Hakimi had a goal and an assist. He went from 310,000 coins, spiked to about 340, 350, went back down to 310. This would be a card I think is going to rise up today after rewards as people buy that for the potential team of the week. And of course, they know that these cards are going out of packs. So if you want to buy a ones to watch card from team one for your team, at least for this next week, after they go out of packs, Malin, Upamakano, Varane, uh, potentially Ronaldo. We'll talk about Ronaldo and Player of the Month here in a second. Uh, Grealish, Alaba, Griezmann. I know Leon Bailey is injured at the moment, but that would be one that I would be interested in. I mean, specifically this Griezmann, bro. I mean, I cannot believe that a Griezmann... Oh, which by the way, if you see this card type in here, right? This is the Serie A Player of the Month. Um, well, we're going to talk about this in a minute. Serie A Player of the Month. We're going to talk about Player of the Month because there's a lot going on with that. But uh, that is the Serie A POTM. We will... Uh, Cover that in a second. All right, Griezmann, where is this guy at, man? This is this is really, really cheap for Griezmann. He was just down at 115,000 coins. As you can see, it looks like some people started to pull the trigger uh, and this card might have gotten bought up a little bit. But 
I think this Griezmann's way too cheap. It's Antoine Griezmann. Uh, you know, I think even France plays today. I don't know how what his uh, situation is looking like for the national squad, national team. But, I mean, I just think this is really, really cheap for a Griezmann card. I think that Grealish is really cheap. Uh, I, again, I think that Malin card, it's 17,000 coins. There's really not a lot of risk because people know these cards are, of course, going out of packs. And of course, they are live items. That's the biggest draw to these cards. They are live. They upgrade, right? We just saw Taliska and Locatelli get upgraded yesterday because of Team of the Week cards that were released in Team of the Week 3. So I would 100%, like I might try to find myself a Danielle Malin tonight. It's 18,000 coins. If you've got a couple hundred K, you know, maybe buying one of these ones to watches and sticking it on your transfer list might not be a bad shout. I'm going to do that with Malin right now. I'm going to buy a Malin, stick it on my transfer list, hopefully wait for him to rise up as people just invest in these cards as they go out of packs. And, and also hopefully he can have a, a good game here soon. And then boom, that card goes up in value. So keep an eye on those ones to watch because I think they will rise up after rewards and potentially even later on into this next week, you could see some bigger rises on those items. So keep a, keep a really, really good watch on those cards. Other items that I would watch today on the market, heroes. If you're talking a quick flip for rewards, if you think about what people are gonna do today with their division rivals rewards that they get, the packs are usually not that great, but some people are gonna be getting a, a, a decent stipend of coins coming in from their rivals rewards. I would 100% look at these heroes since they're still brand new, they're hyped, people are learning how they work, and they're trying these cards out, especially the meta heroes, cards that are, you know, a lot of people like to use. Abedi Pele, right? Uh, your Dina Tally. If any of those cards have dropped before rewards, 348 for this Morientes is definitely down in price. I'm kind of watching uh, Robbie Keane as well. I feel like this might be a striker that a lot of people might try to upgrade to today if they do get coins in their team. So I know it's a pretty expensive buy, but it's a really, really rare card. 617 right now for Robbie Keane. That is down. If I see 600K, I'm going to have to get curious. Uh, so just, just watch out for some of these items because I do think people will try to buy these today after rewards. I think you will see them go up because they're not going to get packed very much. These, these hero items are very rare. They're not going to get packed very much at all, and they're probably just going to go up after rewards as people build some teams um, and continue their weekend league, um, their, their, their qualification for weekend league, and continue to play rivals and continue to grind this game to be able to get into that weekend league, which starts this weekend. So that's those are the areas of the market that I think you will see rise up today after rewards, heroes, ones to watches, a couple of the team of the weeks, probably cards from team of the week one and two as well. You'll see those kind of rise up as people build some teams. Uh, and then icons, I think you'll see icons kind of trickle up in price as well. Again, at this stage of FIFA, at this stage with what's going on with the supply of the cards that are in packs, I'm not touching gold cards very much. If I'm just purely here to make some coins, I'm not touching gold cards no matter what budget I'm on unless you're really confident in a flip and you're really confident in a price that gets really, really cheap because these these gold cards are just supplied so, so much that it's crazy. Mario Gomez at 220, that is low. If I can find one of these at like 210, I'm all in on that card. That's a really, really good price there. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the market with rivals and stuff like that. Now, let's move on to one of the last things that I want to talk about today, and that is player of the month. Now, as you saw it here inside of FIFA, player rarity 114. This is the Serie A player of the month card design. And supposedly, it is known to be that Koulibaly, Koulibaly supposedly has won the first player of the month Serie A, which he might be getting an SBC since this card type has been added he might be getting an SBC pretty soon. So whether that is today, whether that is a couple days from now, watch out for a Serie A Player of the Month, the first one ever to be released. It very well could be Koulibaly. That might be um, a content piece that we do see today. But also what I really want to talk about is the SBC that we will probably see on Friday. Friday is going to be a big day with Once to Watch Team 2. Tomorrow, Once to Watch Team 2. But there's going to be an even bigger part of this too and that is going to be Premier League player of the month for September. I think we are going to get the SBC cuz voting was closed on Monday or Tuesday. Ronaldo Salah, it's between those two in my opinion. We might have a 92 rated Cristiano Ronaldo SBC gracing FIFA 22 Ultimate Team tomorrow. Now, if you're somebody who's like what in the world that would be crazy, 
What is EA going to price that SBC at? Here's what I think. Cristiano Ronaldo on this game is a one point. What's his gold card at right now? His gold card out of packs is 1.5 mil. His 91 rated ones to watch live card is 2.85 million coins. Now, here, here's the question. What would EA Sports do to a 92 player of the month, Ronaldo? That probably give him some plus ones. His stat upgrades wouldn't be that huge. I think they'd have to price the SBC somewhere between 2 to 2.5 million coins, maybe even 2.75 million coins if they really wanted to. It would be a big SBC, but probably an SBC that a lot of people would do. They would probably do it because, again, SBC fodder is pretty cheap at the moment, and yeah, it's not super easy to attain, but obviously a lot of people can't afford a Ronaldo at this stage either. So that's going to be a very tricky SBC if, if EA do release it. Now let's talk about um, SBC fodder for a second. A lot of people have started to invest in these cards. 84s were 1.2K, now they're 1.7. 85s are 3.5 to 4K, 86s are 5,000 coins. If a Ronaldo SBC were to come out, I do think that some of this stuff would rise. Although, a Ronaldo Player of the Month or a Salah Player of the Month, right? A Salah Player of the Month wouldn't be cheap either because you're looking at a guy who already has an inform that's 600, 550, 560,000 coins and a 90 or 91 rated Player of the Month Salah is probably going to run you around, you know, if they make it 91 rated, probably a 750 to 800k SBC somewhere in there. So it's not going to be cheap regardless, and a lot of people aren't going to be able to do the SBC, but if you're somebody who would want to get involved with that SBC, you could look to buy up some fodder. A lot of people are getting into this already, and we've seen if we take a look at the index 84, and if we take a look at how this has risen over the last couple of days, the index 84 was at 94 points during early access, dropped down to 74 points, and we're already back to 92. So fodder has been invested in. It's still quote-unquote low compared to where you saw fodder levels go last year. But what I'm really saying is if you bought fodder when it was low and you're investing in the SBC fodder right now, I really don't expect to see a huge explosion. I don't expect to see a huge, huge explosion of 83, 84, 85, 86 rated players because how many people can really do a player of the month Ronaldo, a player of the month Salah SBC at this time? Really just not that many. Unless EA bring out a once to watch Ronaldo or Salah and it's really, really good value. Like I'm talking a one or sorry, not once to watch a player of the month. Let's say player of the month Ronaldo is like the same price as his gold card to do. Then a lot of people would go out and do that SBC because you're getting a card for Ronaldo that is better than his gold that is the same price as the gold or Salah if like Salah's player of the month is you know 400k a lot of people might go out and do that so those are the things we're gonna have to see what happens if and when they release this on Friday so that's kind of my thoughts on the whole the player of the month it's just crazy to think that we could have a Ronaldo player of the month right off the bat in this game so that's kind of what's going on with the market right now. Again, we, we basically hit it right on the head. Yesterday, I knew that this was going to happen, and it absolutely did. Now, I think that a lot of this selling is people selling teams before rewards because they're worried about it, but also a little bit of people selling before Thursday as well. So if you're anywhere on the market today, I would be looking at ones to watch cards. I would be looking at the team of the week, even team of the week uh, one and two. You could take a look at these cards that are out of packs. Jesus is 190. Zakari is down a little bit. Benzema is down a little bit in price this evening. Let's look at team of the week one. Kimmich, 175. That's not a terrible price. Tony's under 20K. That's not bad. Sar is in the low 40s. Some of these cards could rise up some tomorrow too with uh, no more demand on this game. I'm going to be watching the ones to watches and the hero cards again just because I think that some of these OTWs have just gotten too cheap. And also you're going to have a lot of people wanting to go and buy these and invest in these before they do go out of packs. So that's one thing that we're expecting today. Content-wise, like we said, am I expecting a Koulibaly um, Player of the Month? Maybe. It, it might be a Koulibaly Player of the Month today or a Syria Player of the Month. We will have to see. Um, of course, we do have Andre Silva and Taliska's SBCs are still live. I did Taliska because of the upgrade that he got yesterday. So that was nice. We also should have a new set of marquee matchups that will be coming in today as well. And that's going to be some pack supply that will be hitting right at 6 p.m. UK. Uh, also, quick tip. Quick tip. If you're on a lower budget, this is absolutely insane uh, tip for the lower budget. There's probably not going to be a ton of silver supply today. 
but silver cards are through the roof right now as people are doing the silver stars objective and the silver beast objective during rewards if you're awake watch for a dip on silver cards because that's going to be a great time to get on bids and snipes for silvers um, and see those cards probably rise back up into the day today on thursday as people go back and buy silver cards and complete those objectives so there's a lot going on in this game right now, right? Big market drop off yesterday. A lot of players and price dropping off. Hopefully I explained that well and hopefully you come are coming out of this with a good understanding of what I think is going to happen today on the FIVA 22 Ultimate Team Market. So if you enjoyed this video, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.